present when it releases and then accelerates down to that end. Uh, what I'm going to do is to spin the gyros up here um, and then when I've spun them up to speed I shall turn this motor on which will put the input of torque and the reaction of which is to have a, a linear motion out of this lot, slinging this lot this way and uh, you will see that the frame will move not a huge amount, inch and a half, two inch, something like that in this direction but also so does the mass of the weight and it should, the frame should shoot in the opposite direction so I'll just spin the gyros up and hope they don't let go again which they have done with monotonous regularity in the past Sounds like about the right speed, and I'll now put the main shaft rotor on. <laughs> and what I should do now is to turn it off again. And I just noticed I've left this. These, uh, by the way, just to see the kind of fantastic engineering quality this, this uh, department can come up with, is uh, the centre of one of these huge cable clamps. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? We've got lead shot from the Fisherman's Carp in St Peter Port. Thank you, Fisherman's Carp, ah, which they use to weight down their belts. I've got motors from... Uh, I try to remember what they call themselves, Como Drills. Nice frame made up to me, for me by Vic Froom. Thank you, Vic. And odd bits and pieces probably in there. All oh, the spring stuff from domestic heating services, which I must mention because I work there. Okay, I'll be ready again. Let's, let's see if we can get a bit more sense out of it this time. Line up the ruler. So we've got the ruler just in line with this, the front edge of this rod, rod here. And I've also got a piece of paper. It might be easier actually to see if I put a paper so the point of it is dead in line with that. And now, <laughs> thank you for your patience, people. Let us see if the third wonder in the world will perform its wonders for us. Not while well, the centre conductor. I've got a duck conductor in the middle of this lot. Let's try it now. There we go. shaft on. And keep it rotating once it's, once it's got to that position it's just a stable entity. It's only the acceleration of the mass that moves things. And as you can see, well it's about one and one and a half inches, roughly what I expected. Now I won't waste this thing's energy. I'm going to put it back to the start position. It's still on one and a half. And we'll fire it again. So I'll turn the main shot. Yeah, so I think you're probably by now getting the gist of it. And if I hold that so the mainframe stays where it is, I'm doing as accurate as I can. And now again we'll fire the main shaft up. Yeah. And you can see after, I don't know how many sh shots we've done so far, I'll look back on the video in a minute, but you can see after about four, five shots that it's moved to now up to uh, just on seven inches, which isn't <laughs> ain't a huge amount, but I can move this thing by repeat strokes as often and as far as you want. Now what I'm going to do now, I think, to just clarify things, uh, you see it move up seven inches, I'll return it back to its start point and you'll see the Newtonian stroke does indeed move the thing in the same direction.
I'm just going to stop the video for a moment so you don't get bored of tears, and I don't. Right, so now the machine is set up for a Newtonian stroke. I will move this a bit further.